This video is created for version 3.0 in SolSmart POS. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to close your shift in SolSmart POS. To close your shift, you may click on the close shift button. Here, the software will show you the total amount of sale you have done in your shift. And you can click the amount to view the income summary. You are also given the starting cash amount or the leaving cash amount that stays in the register when you open your shift. To enter your denominations, you can either click on this button and enter the amount separately, or you may enter them here. The software tells us that you are short $44 because our total sale was $44 and we haven't entered any amount in the system yet. Now if we enter $40 in the manual account, the amount we are coming short will change accordingly. So let's enter the full amount, $44, and now the software tells us that we are good to go. Before you close your shift, you should make sure that you match the bill payment amounts from your ePay account to the amount showed in SalSmart POS by going into the Payments in Batch tab. This tells us that you are short $80. So you would enter the amount from ePay under Provider Amount. So let's say we have $40 on ePay. And now the software tells us that we are short $40 more dollars, which means that the amount from your ePay provider does not match the amount in SalSmart POS. This way you'll be able to know if there's a variance. So now let's enter the full amount, $80. And now the software tells us that we are good to go. You also have the option to enter any notes. And once you're done, you may go ahead and close your shift, print the receipt if you'd like to, and click on the close register button to close the shift. And that's how you close your shift in SalSmart POS.